Vole. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, it's a pleasure to rise to speak in favour of this bill. And uh, I thank the uh, minister introducing it, and also, also, uh, both of them, and also uh, Mr. Mellard uh, for the comments, because I think he made two positive comments. And that was really good. One was that he expects Labour to support this bill, and I would hope that each party in uh, the House will find the, take the opportunity to support this bill, because it's intended to reform and modernise the law relating to public inquiries and largely replaces the outdated Commissions of Inquiry Act 1908, which sets out the legal framework within which Commissions of Inquiry and Royal Commissions of Inquiry currently operate. In 2006, the Law Commission reviewed the law, Mr. Speaker, relating to public inquiries with a focus on commissions of inquiry and royal commissions, as well as non-statutory ministerial inquiries. The report, a new inquiries act, recommended a new law. As the 1908 act is over 100 years old, Mr. Speaker, some of it is antiquated and some provisions outdated. In fact, it was even before I was born. The amendments made over time have generally been in response to circumstances of a particular inquiry. And this means, this means that they may resolve a very specific part of the existing Act without taking its wider context into account. Other problems identified, touched on in passing by um, the Honourable Mr Mallard, were the cost and duration of commissions of inquiry and royal commissions normally assigned to the legalistic processes these commissions often adopt and a lack of flexible statutory inquiries for ministers. These can result in higher costs and increased delays and inquiries appointed outside the statutory framework lacking the powers and protections of those appointed within the statutory framework. There was a gap. The new bill, as well as its SOP, will resolve these issues and create a new, more functional network. And I'd just like to briefly describe that because we missed that from the other side of the House, but I'm sure subsequent speakers will concentrate on that aspect of the bill. Because this will provide for two types of inquiry and the retaining of royal commissions, Mr Speaker. There will be public inquiries. These will be appointed by the Governor-General on major issues of concern to the public and government and would be a substitute for commissions of inquiry. The reports would be tabled in Parliament. There will be government inquiries. These would be appointed by and reported directly to ministers. They would deal with smaller and more immediate issues where a quick and authoritative answer is required. The Law Commission recommended that the ability to appoint Royal Commissions should be removed. I'm at a bit of a loss as to why they should do that. Um, but the previous government decided to retain them as the public views them as a very important function where matters of significant public interest are involved. All the provisions of a public inquiry will apply to royal commissions. So I think public inquiries do fill that gap which was alluded to uh, previously. Uh, having sat through days after days after days of the royal commissions for Pike River, the Royal Commission for Pike River, I was very conscious I was very conscious of the appropriateness of it because the public places great faith in the fact that it is beyond government, beyond administration, and being viewed in the way of a Royal Commission. So I, I fully concur with the Bill that there is a definite place for that level of inquiry. The changes that are proposed uh, change credibility and sensibly address problems with our, uh, within our inquiries framework and these improvements are needed immediately. It will give the way protein inquiry more flexibility to provide answers needed to the questions that have been raised about this incident both domestically and internationally. Mr Speaker, New Zealand has a sterling reputation as a credible and trusted supplier of safe, suitable food to both domestic and international markets and we do need a system that will protect our reputation from criticism. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Grant Robertson. Something else, but I'll take a call. Um, thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Uh,